What's up y'all, happy Sunday afternoon. Just wanted to start before I get this video going to let y'all know to remind you that we just have a couple days left where you can pick up my hybrid organic ebook. That's cool season lawns or warm season lawns for the low price of still just $25. It's well over a hundred pages now. We've also got a lot more support on the backside of it. I promise you it'll be of value to you. So make sure you pick that up now while it's still just $25 for an immediate download of the over 100 page ebook, Hybrid Organic Lawn Program. All of the things that I teach all kind of compressed into one guide that I promise will be helpful to you. As of August 1st, we're gonna take the price up to $34.95 for all the reasons that I mentioned before, as well as the fact that I've got a brand new fall supplemental guide coming out to everybody that buys the ebook now or has bought it in the past. That'll be free, it'll be sent to you automatically, just like all updates. Once you buy the book once, all the updates, all the supplements, everything else from there on out is free. Thanks for letting me talk fast through that one. Now, as you can see, this video is super long. This is one of my more detailed math videos, but it's really important for those that are kind of progressing in their strategy to get some more meat sometimes in these videos. So this is a lot of math in this one that's gonna benefit quite a few people. So please try to slog through it if you can, but I do promise a little bit later tonight, I'll have more of a fun video coming up. And the title of that video is gonna be Side Discharge. And with that, let's get right into this week's video, which is all about DIY versus pro pest control and what is the cost. Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hay, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So today, nothing to do with the lawns. I'm actually gonna do my midsummer perimeter pest control, which is just an application I do to band around my house. Lots of folks will do their own perimeter pest control because it's pretty simple and easy and effective. And you can get the exact same active ingredients in the exact same products that professionals use to do at your own house. And that's really what we're gonna talk about mostly in today's video is the pricing between the professional products and the DIY products available at your local big box store. And then we're gonna look at some of the pros and cons that might come along with using different products or different spray methods and things like that. Now, one of the things we are gonna do is we're gonna break down the math. And, and I know that some of you don't like doing that, but, it, but it's important to kind of you know understand exactly what you're getting and why you're getting it and the formulation that you're getting it in. Because a lot of these things, they might give you a little bit of sticker shock up front, but in the long run, you can save money with them. However, there are also advantages to buying small quantities at your local box store. So we're gonna look at those things today and kind of explore. And then that way, if you're gonna be doing any kind of perimeter or home pest control, you'll kind of understand what you're looking for and how to do it. Now, the products that I'm using in these videos, I'm not saying that these are the very best that you can get either. These are just ones I happen to have. There are lots of different ways to do perimeter pest control and the products I'm using here are just the ones I happen to have available to me here at my house. So again, I want you to understand the idea here is just to arm you with the knowledge to break down the active ingredient and how much is going down, what we call pounds on the ground, so that you can make a decision no matter what product you choose to buy. Real quick, I wanted to give you guys an update on the leaf spot. I'll put in on the screen how long it's been since I did my app, but you can see that I don't really see any remnants or traces of it remaining. It's pretty much all cleared up, so I can start uh, so I can start mulching clippings again. Sometimes there's often some bad news, and one thing I've started to see now, the rain has really been kicking in the rainy season here, and I can see that wild Bermuda has once again begun to invade. This is my Palmetto St. Augustine grass, installed fresh in October of last year. Now we're in late July, and the wild Bermuda has already made its way back in. There's nothing that I can do about this except just watch it invade. So the two products we're gonna be looking at, this is what we're gonna call our professional product. This is Temperid FX. And I did a full video on this last year. I'll link in the description below to it if you wanna see it. And uh, we got all the math that I did last year in last year's lawn journal. You can see there, August 4th of 2018 is when we did that. So we've got all the calculations already done here. We will run over those in a minute, but that is gonna be our professional product. And then our homeowner product or homeowner equivalent is gonna be this Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. Now I will say, I think the formula may have changed on this product recently and so that's why I picked up this concentrate here so not to get confused we're gonna save this to the end and the main two we're gonna look at here today are tempered FX and this here bear advanced let me show you why now when you go to the store or even when you're looking online there's all kinds of marketing all over the outside of these packages there'll be all kind of buzzwords and things like that that are trying to sell you the product but what really matters the most in any product that you buy for your lawn are the active ingredients and then how much or what concentration of the active ingredient is in the product that you're buying. So you'll see here that the active ingredients, and I'll take a screenshot if I have to here, are imidacloprid 
and cyflutherin, beta cyflutherin. So that are the two ingredients. And then you can see here that the concentrations are 21% imidacloprid and 10.5% cyflutherin. That's the most important thing to look at. Now what's interesting is you can go here to this product that I got at Home Depot and you're gonna see the exact same things. And it's always gonna be at the bottom of the label on these. And again, this is all of this different marketing and what it kills and all these things. But what matters the most is this right here. So you can see here, same thing, imidacloprid, 0.72% beta cyflutherin, 0.36%. So right away, and I went ahead and just did a side-by-side -side here for you in my lawn journal so you can see. So the professional, let me do this so you can understand it better. There we go. So you can see here the professional formulation or the tempered, 21% imidacloprid, 10.5% cyflutherin, the DIY 0.72%, 0.36%. So we can automatically see a very large difference. Now what you're gonna find is we're gonna put this math problem together. We're gonna gather all available data and we're gonna start ticking off boxes. And once you have a certain amount of facts or data gathered, you can ask different if this then that questions about that data and you can get some really good answers to your questions. I know that some of you will like the way I broke that down. You engineering types definitely like to break it down that way. Others of you that are more creative, maybe you don't, but I want you to understand that this is really fun when you start getting certain amounts of knowledge and data. You can really play with the numbers to dial a strategy in perfectly for your situation. So that's why the next piece of data that we're gonna get is the actual cost for the product itself. So this product was $69. Now you can get it cheaper nowadays, but back when I did my original math, that's what it was costing was $69. So we're just gonna go with that to keep things to keep things even and on par for myself here, the math will still work. And again, the idea here isn't for you to go by this chapter and verse. The idea is for you to understand the thinking behind this so you could run this type of a situation on any product anywhere that you're thinking about using. So you can see $69 up front, sticker shock for a lot of people, especially when this one over here, same active ingredients is only $15 up front. So larger commitment, minimal investment. But we still don't have enough information to really make a decision on which one of these is gonna be better for our budget or, or better overall or anything, we still need to gather a few more facts. And those two facts are kind of similar. The first one is, is how big is the bottle? Because we just looked at what we have to pay for it. But then what is the application rate? In other words, how much of that bottle do we have to use to cover a certain amount of space? And in this case, we're gonna use 1,000 square feet. As I've told you guys before, in lawn care, DIY lawn care, we almost always talk in 1,000 square foot increments. There are exceptions to that. You'll also hear pros, they talk in acres. But for us, we typically deal with smaller square footage. We are gonna talk in, in in terms of 1,000 square foot increments. Even in a perimeter pest control situation, we still wanna talk in increments of 1,000. Okay, so let's get into the next piece of the math, and this is gonna be the fun part here. So $69 we had to pay, how much did we get? We got eight. 0.12 fluid ounces or 240 milliliters. You can see we just didn't get a lot. You can just compare, right? We did not get very much. It's like, holy cow, man, that's a lot for 69 bucks, right? You can obviously see though, it's a much higher concentrated product, but I still don't have enough information to know if it's a good buy yet. What I need to know is the application rate. And the application rate here is 0.27 ounces per thousand. I know I have the word gallon right there. Just leave that out for now. So. 0.27 ounces per thousand. Now that's also equal to eight milliliter. And so now what I can do then is I can understand that if I've got 8.12 fluid ounces and I need 0.27 ounces per thousand, that means that this bottle will cover 30,000 square feet. So I'm gonna pay $69 and I'm gonna get 30,000 square feet out of this bottle. Now, Alan, how did you know that this is the rate? Well, that's because I read the label. And I encourage all of you to read the label on every product you get. It'll answer so many questions you have. If you have any apprehension about things, it'll help you to formulate the right questions to ask when you do. It'll help you with your searches and, and other research. So just read the label, there's so much here. But you can see here now, one of the things you can do with this product is you can flex the rates. One of the advantages here is you can do different rates. But for me, outdoor perimeter pest control, you know, just trying to keep out the millipedes, centipedes, you know, fleas, ticks, all that kind of stuff around the house here, millipedes, whatever, roaches, because we're here in Florida, just to keep all that stuff out, I'm just going to use this rate right here, which is 0.27 fluid ounces or 8 milliliters per 1,000 square feet. That's the rate that I'm using. Now, some of you might ask why the milliliters? Well, that's because they go ahead and give you a nice tip and pour here, so you don't need any measuring cup or anything. You can just, I'll show you, you just squeeze this up in here and you can pour out your eight milliliters right there. So that's one of the reasons why I translate to milliliters. But either way, now we have enough data to start looking and making some understanding of what we're actually paying and what we're getting here for our money. Now let's go over to this side over here on the DIY side. 
Remember, we only paid $15 for 32 ounces, so 8.12 ounces versus 32. You got a lot more here. Application rate on this one is six ounces per 1,000. Without going into the label on this, it's pretty easy to understand if it says right here, again, you don't have a ton of flexibility. It covers 5,334 square feet. So then all I have to do is just take 32 ounces divided by 5.3, and it tells me then that my app rate is six ounces per 1,000 square feet, and you don't have a lot of flexibility with that. So now that we know our application rate, or how many ounces or milliliters of product it takes to get down a good application on 1,000 square feet, now what we can do is understand what is the cost per thousand square feet, because that's really where things are gonna start to break down and start to make a little bit more sense, at least budget-wise. So now let's do that math. I have to be careful, my hands get sweaty out here in the garage and it smears my penmanship. So now what we can do then is understand that if this temperate is gonna cover 30,000 square feet and it's $69, then that means 69 divided by 30 is $2.30. So this, this product here, to do perimeter pest control costs me $2.30 per 1,000 square feet. This product, doing the same math, I paid $15 for this, and I divide that by 5.334, because that's what it covers, 5,330 square feet. That's $2.81. So you can see then, already, Tempered is slightly cheaper by the thousand. Now you might ask why you're doing perimeter pest, why does that matter? Well, I'll show you that in a little bit later is why the thousand square feet matters, just so you can uh, know how to do your application. But either way, now we've got enough information to know that we are actually a little bit cheaper already here. Now next I'm gonna show you a visual because what we have to understand is once we boil all this down, are we getting the same amount of active ingredient down to kill the pests, right? Because that's really what matters, is the amount of active ingredient, the pounds on the ground of the actual active ingredient that we're using to treat the problem. If one is lighter than the other, that might make a difference right there. So let's do that. Let me first illustrate to you, though, the differences in the two products when it comes to concentrations. Okay, so the Tempered takes eight milliliters per 1,000. So it's just that little bit. See that little container right there? That's eight milliliters. That's all you need for a thousand square feet. Now you dilute that in water, of course, but that's all you need. As opposed to this product, this is six ounces per thousand. So you can see then a lot more is needed and that goes back to the concentrations of active ingredient that we looked at. This one is much lower, 0.36% cyflutherin and 0.72% imidacloprid so you need all of that and again this gets mixed with water in this case it does it automatically for you which is one of the advantages here no mixing but you can just see it's a lot more product that needs to go down as opposed to this one which you just need that little tiny bit so now that you have all of this information now the last thing you can look at is am i going to get an on par application whichever one i choose am i going to get the same amount of active ingredient down i've already illustrated to you that one does take a lot more of the concentrate than the other but are they on par when it comes down to literally where the rubber meets the road or where the chemical meets the ground are we the same let's take a look and so this is where we go to literally pounds on the ground now some of you will recognize that term when i talk about fertilizers we talk in the same terms because these numbers right here stand for percentages 818 is eight percent nitrogen one percent phosphorus eight percent potassium same thing that is called the guaranteed analysis and it's based in percentages so what do we do we talk about pounds on the ground with nitrogen in this case, we're not talking about a fertilizer, we're actually talking about an insecticide in this case, but the percentages still matter. What percentage of the product that we want, in that case, in that case we want fertilizer, in this case we want an insecticide, but we still want to know what are our pounds on the ground because that's where we can do things evenly because that's where we can see how things measure up. So in the case of this, the pro product, our application rate again is 0.27 ounces per thousand, so 0.27 times the concentration of 0.21 because it's a 21% imidacloprid product. So you convert the percentage to decimals and it's 0.27 times 0.21 is 0.0567 ounces per thousand. The Cyflutherin, same thing, 0.27 times 0.105 because it's a 10.5% Cyflutherin product. 0.028. So that means that when you apply this, you're gonna mix it all in water, this and this and that. When you apply it though, what you're actually getting per thousand is 0.056 ounces of imidacloprid and 0.0284 ounces of cyfluthrin. When we go over here then to the DIY product, we can do some of the same math. Remember, six ounces per thousand, Concentration's much lower, 0.72%, 0.3%, 0.36%, but remember, we're putting a lot more down. So here we go, pounds on the ground, imidacloprid, six ounces times the 0.0072, because again, we have to convert this 
percentage to decimals, right? So you gotta take two more decimal places over. Six times 0 0 0.0072, 0 0.043, 0 0.36 here times six, 0 0.022. So what do we got? Pro product, a 0 0.056 and a 0 0.43. So in this case, this is gonna have a higher concentration of imidacloprid at the rate that I'm using. And then when it comes to the cyfluthrin, 0.27, we got a 0 0.0284 versus a 0 0.022. So in this case, they're fairly on par. This one's slightly more concentrated, but not that much. So now when it comes to just these particular pieces of data, you can break it down. The pro product will cost you $2.30 per thousand, and you'll get 0 0.0567 imidacloprid and 0 0.0284 cyfluthrin. This product is slightly more expensive at $2.81 per per thousand, as well as you do get a lower concentration of imidacloprid and about the same of the cyfluthrin. So now you can make the decision, if you wanted to just make it based on pounds on the ground and cost, you've got enough information now to make an intelligent decision for your own strategy. Now there are some other considerations and I've been alluding to those throughout this, because if you just do it solely based on cost and percentages, you go with the pro every time. But let's look at some of the other advantages or disadvantages of each one. Okay, so I just wrote a few of these down real quick. There's a lot of other ones that you can go through. Also, I just wanna remind you, I do have a free email that I send out every single Tuesday. And these are the kind of things that we kind of go over sometimes is cost of DIY versus pro, trying to shed light on things to help teach you the why behind what we do so you can make better decisions for yourself. So there's a link in the description below where you can get on that free email list. All right, so some of the considerations with the pro, we've already talked about, it's cheaper by the thousand and you do get more pounds on the ground because with the application, rate that we're going with you did get a little bit more of the imidacloprid and slightly more of the slifluthrin so not only is it cheaper it is more pounds on the ground however the biggest thing here is flexibility in the application rate there's different ways to dial this up and down as well as the technique you can spray this out of a hand, out of a pump sprayer which gives you a lot more flexibility than this which can only really be used one way the other thing is this can be used indoor and outdoor again because of its flexibility whereas this is for outdoor use only however as far as the DIY goes this is very easy to get locally. It doesn't cost as much up front. You know, this is a $69 investment. This is only a $15 investment. Other thing is spray and throw away. You know, you don't have to have any storage. With this, you have to store this. And if you have young kids that you're worried about getting into it or something like that, that could be something to think about. You have to lock this up in a cabinet, whatever. With this, you spray it. And when you're done, you literally throw it in the trash. And along those same lines, you have no mixing here. I do still recommend you wear PPE and gloves and stuff like that, but you don't have to actually do any mixing. And you don't have have to invest in a sprayer. With this, you do have to invest in some kind of a sprayer. Even if it's just a cheap $30 one or like the one you'll see I have, this, this doesn't require that. It's just get this and go. Okay, so now all it's left to do is the spraying and praying, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the concentrate in a backpack sprayer because that is the way I prefer to do my perimeter pest. I don't like using the ready to spray formulation. I much prefer to use a hand can of backpack. Now I have 2,500 square feet to spray around my house, top and bottom. And as I spray, I'll give you some quick notes on how I calculated that, as well as, again, I did this video last year, and I'll put a link there in the description where you can see everything in more detail about how I measured it out, and that'll show you why and how I know that I have 2,500 square feet of surface to spray here.
So some of you guys are gonna call me out on the fact that I'm using a ready to spray, which is not really the best for perimeter pest control. And you're right, it's not. But this product is definitely labeled for perimeter pest control because you can see right here, on lawns and along building foundations, treatment to soil around structures, application to building foundations up to a maximum height of three feet. So they do allow this for perimeter pests, but you can't go up into your eaves. And again, that goes back to some of what we were talking about. However, I will say I did go ahead and look for the concentrate and I think they must have changed the formulation, at least here in Florida, because now all I can find is beta cyflutherin by itself. And they're calling it carpenter ant and termite killer. But like I mentioned to you, that's just marketing. This will do a lot of other things. And this too is also labeled for perimeter pest control around foundations and buildings. So some of you that would call me out on the ready to spray formulation, you're right, this would be better, and this is more of a concentrate. However, I can't find it with the imidacloprid in it anymore, only with the cyflutherin. So I figured I'd run the math for you on that anyway, just with the cyflutherin, just so those of you that care would be able to see. So here we go. DIY concentrate. This is cyflutherin only. This is the BioAdvance 2.5%. I paid $20 at Home Depot for this. It's 40 ounces because, of course, it's 25% more than the 32 ounce size. <laughs> Thanks, brilliant. Coverage, 13,333 square feet. How did I get that? Because the app rate is three ounces per thousand. I read the label for that. Now this does have flexibility in it because it's a concentrate, but the label that is labeled for building foundations and perimeter pest control is three ounces per thousand. So that means then that 40 ounces divided by three will cover 13,300 square feet. Cost per thousand then $1.50. So this is cheaper, much cheaper. But remember, it does not have the imidacloprid in it. In this case then, we do three Three ounces times 0 0.025 because it's a 2.5% product. We're getting 0 0.075 ounces per thousand of the cyflutherin. Now that is of note because with these other products, our cyflutherin was only 0 0.028 and 0 0.022, whereas with this concentrate here, you're at 0 0.075. So you're 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 a little over three times more concentrated on the cyflutherin with this product, which is maybe what they decided to do is if they just take the imidacloprid out and up the amount of cyflutherin it goes down, maybe they get the same control I don't know but that one thing they are doing is labeling this for carpenter ant and termites even though it does control the rest so I just wanted to throw that out there again run this math on any product you get and understand what are you getting what does it look like how does it shake out and be a more educated consumer so there you go guys perimeter pest control all the math so you can make good choices and then showed you a little bit how to spray it too so this is one of those things that's great for a DIYer because you can get really good products you can get really good results and you can save a lot of money doing it yourself especially when you're armed with the facts behind the numbers so with that as always I hope this video has been helpful to you lots more tips coming in the email so don't forget to subscribe there and with that I'm Alan Hain the Lawn Care Nut thanks for watching and I'll see you in the lawn